In this video, we're going to be looking at AI tool known as WAV tool, which is a door, an online door for musicians to actually use AI to make songs. So let's delve right in. Hey everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. I hope you are doing well. I'm not doing too badly. A lot of musicians are going to be scared about this. They're, some are not going to be happy at all. And others are going to be like, hmm, this is actually going to improve my workflow. This is going to be great. So let me know what you think about this tool in the comments. So this is quite revolutionary. This is known as WAV tool and it's an AI accelerated music production online platform suite. So you can have a go for free. It talks about making high quality music with an AI assistant. Think chat GPT but in music production. WavTool can do just that. So with sidechain compression, advanced synthesis, flexible signal routing and more, it's your time to make music that meets your standards. They also have something called Conductor which can guide you through the process. All that power in the browser. Now it's good to have a door in the browser, that's actually straight away a real benefit. You don't know what you don't know. So for beginners, it gives a lot of guided wording to help you. For musicians, you can focus on the in instrument that you know, not the door you don't. So they've got this Conductor AI, which is their version of ChatGPT, and you say, add a drum beat, and it'll add a drum beat. I can't wait to try this. This is the first time I'm delving right in. So every capability for your every need, with customizable plugins, signal routing, detailed recording waveforms and more. It has a complete feature set to fulfill any audio needed from backing tracks to podcasts. You can easily export if you want to put it into your own door and you can use it for free right now. So let's have a look at the FAQs. They're not trying to replace musicians, although I do think this tool is gonna to be very powerful. There's still a human element that's needed to actually make good new music. And I personally like the idea of this tool because instead of having just a button where you click generate and a couple of presets, you can actually build an entire track from scratch from this tool via their AI. It's not a finished product, it will remain in active development. They're based in Vancouver and Singapore. It's a digital audio workstation that runs in the browser, which I think is brilliant. You can import audio into the project as well, which is really useful. They've got their own suite of virtual synths, drum machines and samplers to get you started. At the moment, you can only import audio samples. You can export in WAV or MP3 format. You can use phrases like give me a beat, make my vocal sound more professional, <laughs> give me the chords to wrecking ball, and it will respond with suggestions and context to explain its rationale. So let's have a look at the pricing model at the moment. So there's a free six track per project tier, up to 384 beats with five conductor AI prompts per eight hours with one custom plugin per project and a WAV format export, which I think that's really good. But obviously if you want unlimited, then you'll pay the subscription for that, for the actual pro. And exporting then also includes MIDI, which might you might want if you're a typical music producer. You can sign up with your Google account or your Facebook account. Or What's this? Hello? Okay, so I'm back. I had a lot of trouble logging in and signing up and the app just wasn't working, but it's finally woken up. So I'm ready to show. So it says, welcome to Wav Tool. Let's get you started with a quick tour of the app. You press enter to open the chat bot. Now you press escape to close it. You can also click that little button at the bottom of the screen. You can use, well, I'm using Mac, so it's that little button and K to open the Omni bar and again, or escape to close it. For more help, you can join their Discord server, you can raise bugs, and you can find a help section as well. You can load up a sample project to get you started, or you can simply close it and literally start off from scratch. So I'm gonna start off from scratch. So we are presented with, this is just like, I've been looking for something like this that uses a keyboard. Great, so you can use the keyboard, the normal keyboard, to actually trigger the notes. So let's press enter. Quick heads up, I'm still in development and I might make some mistakes. 
On the basic tier, users are limited to five messages per eight hours. This is due to the high cost of our AI API. We're working on our efficiency upgrades and plan raise this limit in the future. If I have any questions about WebTool, then check this out. Okay, so create a synthpop baseline that is catchy. So it wants me to open this survey here, which is a bit crazy because I haven't started yet. I've created a catchy synthpop baseline for you. Click the button to add it to your project. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Then we go add catchy baseline. Ooh, look at this. Wow, okay, so let's play it. Okay, I'd probably up the BPM. And you can do various things like you can in any door. You can make it solo mute. You can have a look at the MIDI. You can tweak the MIDI as you need to by literally just dragging up and down. So that stuff's really good in that respect. At the top, you've got various options. So you've got your file structure, you've got your edit, your export, your interface, performance. You can name your project. So I'm just gonna call it test. You can report the bug, join the Discord and it tells you which plan you want as well. All right, let's try something else. Now add a melody that suits the bass line. See what it pops up now. I've created a melody that suits the bass line. Click the button to add it to a new track in your project. And you can right click on anything that it's done and you can duplicate it. Here we are, so I'm gonna click add melody. It's gonna create a new track for me with the melody at the top. So I might have the bass first on its own and then actually start with both of it. Okay, not the best. What you have to remember with AI is it's gonna get better over time. So you may be really disappointed with the results that it currently gives, but just think in a six months time, in a year's time, how is this gonna behave differently? So that's something to really bear in mind here. I like how you can drag the bar so that you can see your tracks. This is the MIDI editor at the bottom. You're able to change the titles of the tracks by double clicking and then writing over the top, so that can help. Okay, so let's say I'm not too happy with that melody. Come up with a different melody that includes more notes and is more catchy and offbeat. I've created a more intricate and offbeat melody for you. Click the button to add it to a new track in your project. Don't you think this is incredible? Is it just me? We've got such a set way of making music as, as producers. I make synth pop music by the name of Cyber Monday and EDM music as the name of Cyber Friday. And you know, you go through a systematic thought process to actually create those tracks. And it's just amazing to have suggestions in your in a door that you can play with and adapt. I think the biggest advantage of WebTool is the fact that you've got an element of control. So much more control than you typically would with a average music generator. So I'm gonna add the catchy melody. <laughs> it says that's the new catchy melody. And now I need to go pro to actually be able to do that. So just to let you know, exactly at that point, I've had to subscribe to the professional model. So you'll see it now, it says pro at the top. So I'm now going add new catchy melody and it's created that here. Now let's have take a look. It hasn't worked so well. <laughs> Don't make this melody offbeat. Add catchy melody. Okay, so you can change the gain and the actual balance. So that can help. You've also got what's called a sample library. So you've got sample generator on Lady Gaga. Generating sample from Lady Gaga. This works, this is gonna be quite interesting because this is more audio samples now, but audio generated. Okay, that's strange, but I'm gonna add it in. So you can drag and drop to actually add in your sample generators as well. 
What a bizarre track, honestly. But, you know, it's a track that's been made with AI. So I think it's incredible, personally. It needs that. Yeah, so it'll just repeat it again. So you could have that at the beginning. You could have the actual bass fading in like so. Let's give it a little listen now. You're also able to quantize if you want it stuck to the beats by clicking, right clicking and then going quantize. You can also split samples and MIDI tracks as well, or you can group them together by consolidate. Make the bass line more edgy. It says adjusting the distortion effect can change how edgy the bass line sounds. This is like a training suite for musicians. It's quite clever with what it's actually suggesting. So I've added distortion to the bass line now add a reverb effect to the melody. So I'm putting effects over the top of it just so that it makes it sound a lot less basic. This will add a reverb effect with a mix of 0 0.3 to the catchy melody track. You can adjust the mix if you want to, to achieve the optimum sound that you desire. So there we go. So let's see how that sounds. Ooh. That's better. So much better. Cool. Now we need a drum beat. Make a suitable drum beat. Now this does take time, don't get me wrong, but it also takes an incredible amount of time to make music. So you have to bear that in mind. It's a very different way of working and it can be more fun because it's making suggestions for you. So it's going to make a suitable drum beat with a fill in at the end, which is four bars long with three bars of regular beat and the fill in in the last bar, which is exactly what I asked for. So here's a button to add the drum beat to the drums track. There's the drums track down the bottom, just waiting for the button to appear. Oh, that looks good. I think, don't know how it sounds, but let's give that a shot. I don't want that there, so I'm going to drag it probably to where it needs to go. Again, it's very difficult because you need to be able to shrink the tracks. There you go, but well, it does do it to the grid. Hmm. So make the drum beat more complex. I can create a more complex drum beat for you. This new drum beat is still four bars long, but has more intricate patterns. Here's a button to replace the current drum beat on the drums track with a more complex one. Incredible what this AI is doing now. If you're interested in more AI tools like this, or even music NFTs, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. It'd be really appreciated. I'm so close to 2,500 subscribers, so any support with that would be great. I really do think this is the start of something, and this is just gonna get better and better, and it's gonna be quicker, and it's gonna be an absolute breeze to make music going forwards. So let's add that complex drum Beat. Okay, that's made a big difference. Let's take a listen. Okay, make the drum beat more in the style of EDM because I just felt that was a bit of a swing. It wasn't really matching up. It's going to create an EDM style drum beat now for me and it's going to be four bars long and has a typical EDM pattern. So it's going to replace the drums. It's remembered where they were before as well, which is actually really clever because you'd hate to have to keep dragging them to the place that you were before. So I think that's great. So I'm going to mute the melody because it's driving me a bit mad now. And I'm just going to focus on the drums. Just waiting for that EDM beat to come through. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. I need to remove that one by the backspace and I need to drag that to that. Let's take a listen. Okay, not really what I was after, but still, it is what it is. So yeah, you just basically keep on building your track via WavTool. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video. A like to the video will be appreciated, a sub as well. And I will speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.